Okay, I'm probably gonna regret this, but what the hell are you doing? Oh, I read online that these guys are able to make breast milk by just playing around their nipples, so I wanna see if I can do it too. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I just, I should've known better than ask you what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, it feels pretty uncomfortable. I'm getting pretty sore. Mm. Okay, okay, so what is your end game here? What if you actually produce milk? Well, then I wanna see how it tastes. Oh, oh my god. What? No, oh my wait. god, something just came did, out. Really? Did, can I, can I see? Oh. <laughs> yeah, now you're just a mister. I'm too good to see if I can make my own breast milk. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, that's blood. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, just tore off my nipple. <sighs> just tore off my nipple. Mmm. Hey everyone, I'm Alex. I'm Xander. And welcome to another episode of The Science of Sin, where we explain why you're so good at being bad. We're kicking off June with a whole new series of episodes centered around sexual organs. Today, breasts. Yeah, oh yeah. Breasts have fascinated humans, uh, probably since we first walked upright. Oh god, it feels so good to finally get off your hands, you know? Anyway, how are you doing, my love? I think we can migrate south. Soon, what are those? Oh, these? I've always had these. So maybe we can start migrating south after it stops raining, or... Hello? Uh, hey! Just, just, just give me a sec. Could you, like, jump up and down a little bit or something? Besides just being awesome to look at, breasts also provide babies milk, and when stimulated, are a strong source of sexual pleasure. <laughs> so, all humans, male and female, have breast tissue. Nice. But then in puberty, estrogen levels rise in women, causing them to develop larger breasts, which are mostly made up of fat. Nice! But only when a woman gets pregnant do her boobs fully develop. The mammary gland, the organ that produces milk for her newborn, revs up for the first time, creating tubes and ducts to secrete milk and making the breasts a little larger. Oh, nice! Milk is where it's at. Oh, sorry! It's just that, I mean, come on, there's no way that you ever get laid. Let's be serious. Now men can also technically grow breasts and some can even produce breast milk. What? No, no, what? No. No, I don't want to see what breasts would look like on me. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, I didn't say you would be. All it would take is the right amount of hormones. Uh, this often happens with alcoholic men because they damage their bodies so much that their hormone levels get all out of whack. Hmm. Alcoholism, you say? There are a lot of nerve endings in the nipples, so stimulation with a tongue or finger feels really good for both <sighs> men and women. Damn straight. You know, just start slowly at first, then work your way up to a little more pressure. And uh, guys, don't be afraid to ask for a little uh, nip stim. For some reason, men uh, are much less likely to ask for it when they really want it. Smaller breasts are more sensitive than larger breasts, so keep that in mind if you want to motivate that shit. <laughs> brain scans have shown that stimulating a woman's breast actually can activate the same parts of her brain as when you stimulate her uh, vagina. Some women's breasts are so sensitive, they claim they can achieve orgasm <sighs> solely through nipple stimulation. And as you can imagine, for some women, this makes breastfeeding Compulsive. Um, I'm gonna go feed the baby again. Didn't you feed her like 30 minutes ago? Yeah, but uh, mama needs her fix. Don't you mean the baby needs her fix? <laughs> I know what I said! One big question that researchers are debating are why humans have fatty, protruding breasts, while apes and monkeys don't. <laughs> Straight men love to stare at breasts. Give one a picture of a naked woman and most likely he'll spend most of his time looking at the boobs. So, are you ever gonna stop staring at them? Just, 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 shh. Because of that, some researchers thought maybe the bigger breasts that men seemed to prefer meant that a woman produced more milk or she was more fertile. Makes sense to me. But it turns out that big or small, firm or saggy, uh, tubular or spherical, they have no relation to how much milk a woman can make or how fertile she actually is. So then why do women have boobs? Maybe women have these breasts because it's easier to feed a baby that way, or maybe it's also so men can tell when women are sexually mature, but we really don't know. And that's it for this episode of Science of Sin. Tune in this Friday when we go over two 
other pleasure domes, the testicles. So, uh, subscribe to see that. Otherwise, uh, email us at info at scienceofsin.com with any of your questions, or feel free to leave some questions, comments, suggestions in the comment boxes at the bottom. Yeah, and uh, don't forget to uh, see some of our past videos if you haven't. See you on we'll Friday. See you on Friday.